Hey guys, boy here, and this is Things I've Learned with E.G. Sumeo's OD in 720E. This hero got so many buffs after 720 and forward, and yet it took a while for other players to realize the full potential of this hero. Thompson played a little bit of OD, but I couldn't find time to make the video before New Year's Eve. I think he's actually the one that popularized the build Sumeo goes for in this game, but the original replays are all dead, unfortunately. This game is particularly interesting because of OD versus TA. It's an old matchup known for being TA favored. Yet Sumeo owns this lane. Before we even talk about the matchup though, we need to understand what happened to OD. Basically, what they did was transform the old OD aura into a skill that only works for him and allows you to rely way less in RNG to have your mana up. Your Astro level 1 deals 100 damage. If you can align it in a way that the 4 creeps get damaged by it, you will use the spell pretty much for free since Astro costs 140 and Equilibrium 50. The way Sumeo wins this matchup is by constantly harassing the range creep and then using Astro to prep the range creep to die before the TA comes back while also getting the first creep that gets focused in the wave. This makes sure that no range denies happen while TA is losing some creeps and Sumeo is also getting other creeps. Sumeo did this every single time while using Equilibrium as well. He's not getting all the mana back, but he's getting some of it and on a spell that has no use when he doesn't have Arcane Orb learned. So committing Equilibrium as long as more than one unit is there makes sense, especially if you know that you actually got the Astro before TA pops Refraction, because if she mitigates the damage, then you're not gonna get the mana back. Another cool play that he went for was this one, TA starts to pressure for the nice as TAs usually do, and Sumeo gets a good Astro that he knows will allow the tower to clear the wave and thus focus on TA later. He does a shit ton of damage on TA thanks to it, and the usual build nowadays still focuses in maxing Astro, even though TA is short range, and you do that even against some melee heroes. Since Astro deals damage in AoE, it means that you can with one level for Astro and Equilibrium regen at best 2000 mana if there's 4 units there. When you get Arcane Orb, you don't deal enough damage to regen all your mana back at this stage of the game, meaning that usually people will get one Arcane Orb at level 4 and then go back to it later, but you can maybe get another point earlier if you're against a DK, a Timber, an Ember, or heroes that usually struggle a lot against that spell. What Sumeo constantly did was getting Astros while TA had no refractions up and was close enough to the creeps. You can see how his mana shoots all the way back up. The fact that you can choose when you want to use your Equilibrium also means that you can use way more mana to zone people since you're sure, if you save enough mana, to get it all back. Luko Sumeo zones the TA back and later on gets an Astro on the TA that by the way has no refractions and he can even boop her because of the duration of the E. A big change in OD is the fact that Equilibrium slows. It's way easier for you to chase targets down, but for you to apply the slow you need to get the first hit or get Astro and thus two options come to mind. Phase Boots gives you attack speed, which is awesome, but the Equilibrium Slow already lasts for 2 seconds, so getting the first hit is way more important than getting the next ones. Also, OD suffers with HP regen since you build no items that give it to him, besides maybe a 4 staff, and that is very little HP regen. Tranquil Boots is a cheap and awesome answer for two of these heroes' problems, especially when you already have a Draw Ranger in your team. Even still, now that you don't lose Tranquil's HP regen after attacking and considering you have so much mana sustain, the HP regen sustained from Tranquil's just fits in like a glove. Look how he's back to full mana and Grimstroke is dead here. As long as you have a lot of HP regen, you never have to leave the lane and thus you're gonna be pressuring lanes, you're gonna be finding kills and you're gonna be farming more than your opponents. So Mayo even drops the item here to not lose the HP regen, that's pretty good. The fact that your E also slows means that as long as you get your Astro off, you can be in a position to kill almost any hero. Even though Sumeo Tranquil gets cancelled here, once he sets up once he sets up the slow, it's more than enough to find that kill and later Lion as well. Not much time after that, look what happens. Not only Sumeo gets the Lion as he runs away, he sees Antimage trying to get Mana Void off. The cast point of that spell is longer than one attack from Sumeo, so he just so he just stops where AM will come from, finds this kill, and almost gets out. He also buys his Kaya before falling, and this is why Tranquil Boots is so popular nowadays, in 
some intelligence heroes. Going Kayayashi on int heroes that already have move speed talent feels amazing, and that's one of the reasons for Sumeo to own this game so hard. Look how much mana Sumeo gets from medium camp, like this one, or how fast he clears his attack. Let's not even start with being able to form Ancients with OD now. The fact that you can do that means that having more HP region makes a lot of sense, since you want to be ready to fight at all times and those Ancients will do some significant damage to you. As you can see at this stage, Sumeo still cannot use Arcan Orb non-stop during Equilibrium to get his mana back, but as long as he finds a good amount of creeps and he saves enough mana for an Astro, he will be back to full mana regardless. This hero, without the move speed talent, has 450 move speed with Kayayashi and Trankus. This is an insane change from the 380 you would get before. The move speed allows him to sneak on the AM here and position him perfectly, and he kills him before he can blink out. You eventually get to a point where you can spam Arcan Orb with Equilibrium on without worrying at all about it. This hero then becomes a super deadly force whilst being incredibly good at farming. The fact that Astro can now slow if you use your E means that this Blink Dagger is even better since you can set up with your team with a slow on top of it. It's also a great get out of jail card since you can blink out of most things. And yeah, at this stage the game is pretty much over, which is kind of sad because some games end so fast nowadays and it feels like you're wasting an opportunity to learn more stuff. Anyways, thanks guys for watching, commenting and subscribing. As you know, I have a Twitter where I talk Dota and memes, I have a Twitch where I play and cast, and you know, in this era of YouTube destroying everything, I really appreciate anyone that can uh, sub and follow me on Twitch, it really helps. I also have an Instagram and a Discord channel that you can check out, and yeah guys, thanks for being here, and we are back in full force.